Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Elaine's Creations Live. I'm back from New Orleans backstage event. It was amazing. It was so cool. I learned a lot and I reconnected with a lot of people and met a lot of new people and it was wonderful. So I'm going to give you an overview of uh, what I did at backstage and talk about um, a promotion starting on Thursday. Actually, there's two promotions. So there's a lot going on in September. Um, today and tomorrow are the last days of celebration. So make sure um, you get the celebration items that you want. Uh, several items are already sold out. Um, but I might be able to hook you up with some um, if you uh, place an order. Um, also wanted to mention that this is, in my opinion, the best time to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin because um, you have the Halloween one and then you have two fabulous uh, Christmas ones and um, they are really great. And a little trick you can do is you can order a 3, 6, 12 month uh, paper pumpkin subscription and you'll get um, the uh, free celebration item when you do that so it's kind of a nice thing to uh, that's what I do during celebration is I order my 12 month paper pumpkin subscription um, so that I can get those extras I ordered the 12 month and so not only do I get three or I think maybe four uh, celebration items but I also get uh, 15 to $20 in uh, the Stampin' Rewards. So um, it's a great way to get your paper pumpkins. Um, hello, Melanie and Denise. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm having trouble um, getting my phone to connect to the program. And I'm not exactly sure why. So I'm gonna try again and um, yeah, I'm not seeing it, so I might have to um, I might have to figure that out. Um, okay, so I just need to do a little bit of sharing um, here before I start, and let's see. I'm gonna go over here, and I just need to share um, to my group. And okay, I have a lot of promotions. Um, Stampin' Up! promotions and my promotions to talk about and uh, the promotion starting on uh, Thursday in two days, September 1st, um, is going to be some new dies that coordinate with existing stamp sets. And so I'm gonna show you all the ones that I got. I'm very excited. I'm gonna be showing you them in, uh, most of them in two weeks. Um, next week, I don't have a Facebook Live because I'm gonna be out of town again. I'm gonna be hanging out with my college roommates. But after that, I'm gonna still record some videos. So you'll still uh, see the videos for the card class of the week. And then the following week, I'll be showing you some of these perfect partners. And I have several classes and several offers to go with the per perfect partner. So you're gonna to wanna to catch that. Um, let's see, so did I copy that? Apple cards, um, yay. Okay, so I love apples. Who here loves apples? And what's your favorite apple? My favorite apple is the Envy apple. I don't know if you've had that before. Um, it's very sweet and very crisp, and it, it just has a really great taste. Um, and I just really enjoy eating apples. And um, in uh, New Orleans, of course, it's known for beignets. And so I had beignets from the famous Café du Mont um, that's, I guess, started the beignets in the area. Good morning, Sherry. And... Uh, then I had the beignets at the hotel and I was like, what? To me, I like the light and fluffy beignets. So I, I liked the beignets at the hotel better. They were cinnamon beignets with an apple compote, I guess, and ice cream. It was like kind of having, a, you know, apple pie a little bit but better. <laughs> so it was amazing and I love apples. So let's see here. I just have to keep sharing. 
and gonna go to where is my group I'm gonna go here okay so first promotion is the like I mentioned perfect partners promotion and I'm gonna post a flyer about it today and so um, the first one is the apple harvest and that's what I'm doing today and I was asked um, as part of the sales and promotion um, council um, a demonstrator council to um, show some uh, samples from this so I have some extra samples to show you from this um, there's also the fresh cut stems dies uh, that go with the fresh cut stems or fresh cut flowers and this one is from the annual catalog this is from the mini catalog and then we have this is going to be the most popular one this little piggy or playful piggies dies uh, with the this little piggy um, stamp set um, and it's got a wagon and it cuts everything out and has grass and has banners and I've just been seeing the most amazing cards made with this bundle and so I have a whole class um, ready for you for this bundle um, so I will be showing you that in two weeks or earlier if I get the chance I'm really trying to earn the incentive trip to Norway and I also want to um, have a yearly sale meet a yearly sales goal so I am five thousand dollars away so um, here's my little um, plug or or plead is to please place an order before September 30th um, I would love to send you a gift and of course if you order over 50 I also give you my exclusive stamp tutorials um, which are amazing and created um, by amazing demonstrators and even some of the artisan design team so it's an amazing uh, a bunch of tutorials that you'll get we also have the tree trimming dies perfect for Christmas with all these trees and stars and that's amazing and I will have some samples of that and we have the waterfall dies where you can create the waterfall. It's amazing. And the Yeti dies that goes with Yeti to party. And I'll have samples of all of these to show you because it's an amazing promotion. And you're going to want to get these bundles because basically all of these stamp sets I wanted, but I did not purchase because they did not have dice. And now that they have dice, I have purchased four out of the six. And so I'm really excited to share them with you. Of course, I have the apple harvest class today and I'll have this little piggy class and I'll have a tree trimming class and a fresh stems class. I'm gonna have a ton of classes this month because I, again, am really trying to earn the incentive trip um, yay, Joe Linda, you want to do the little piggies? They're so cute. And hi, Rhonda, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna share again. And um, let's see, uh, I had to wake up my son today because I knew that he would forget, even though I reminded him that he had an eye doctor appointment today and you get charged if you don't show up. So I woke him up this morning, I'm like, you remember? You have an eye doctor appointment and this kid isn't like 16 he's 22 um yeah so hoping that i can figure out how to encourage my kids to make and keep their own doctor's appointments if you have any tips for me i would surely appreciate it because he's going to be staying with us for the year and doing online classes because uh, he wants to be close to his girlfriend, which is great. I love having him home. Um, it's very nice, um, but still need um, some tips on, on parenting adult children. Let's say that. So if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear them um, because I need help. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, do one more share because I, oh, there's my group. Okay, share. Okay, so that's the perfect partners promotion. And then today announced that they're going to have weekly deals every week in September. So each week there are going to be specific items that will be discounted for the week. And so if you order from me one of those weeks, 
um, you're going to get an extra special gift and a chance to win a prize. And I will have more information on that coming up in my next email. So if you're not on my email list, go to my website, elainescreations.net, and make sure you subscribe to my newsletter there on the right. And one of the prizes will be the tree lot dies. So while I'm away this weekend, you will have the opportunity to win the tree lot dies when you place a $50 order uh, starting September 1st through September 6th. So the email will have information on this as well. This is a celebration item that's no longer available, but is one of the cutest celebration items that was available. So, um, you can place your order and get a weekly deal and one of the perfect partners bundles and you'll be entered into this raffle and you're gonna get a cool gift from me as well as my exclusive tutorials. So it's amazing, there's so much. With that, um, let's see. Unfortunately, you need to let him miss the deadline or appointment and pay the charges. It hurts, but it's the only way. Yes, that is probably true. Um, he has missed the deadline and paid the charges before, so I guess I just have to continue letting him miss it um, or just remind him, hey, you have appointment, I suggest you set an alarm or put it in your schedule because if you miss it, you're paying the $100 cancellation fee. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> All right, so the wished wish list raffle. So unfortunately I was not able to have my new catalog party. Um, just too many things happening at once and trying to get ready for backstage, but I am still doing the wish list raffle. So the prize was these cute storybook gnomes DSP. So cute. And, um, I want to say the dies cut out some of these gnomes or things, but I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm sure it's amazing. And the winner is Denise Bryant. So congratulations, Denise. I will be sending you your pack of paper. Thanks for sending me your wish list. And thanks to everybody that sent me your wish list. I hope that you place orders for your wish list. All right. Okay. So now um, I've done all the promotions and I've talked about everything. So now I need to do my weekly uh live raffle so last week the prize was the leaf label in amber gems and the winner for that is share no alana rose so congratulations alana you've won the leaf and uh amber gem combo pack uh pm me your address and i will send it right out to you this week's prize is really cool um really nice it's the natural uh ribbon and it's woven uh, ribbon, so it, it's very soft and it has like lots of breathable holes in it. It's very cool. So that is the prize for if you uh, say hi and comment and uh, share the video this week. I will announce the winner in two weeks because I will not be here again for the live next week. I will be out of town with my college roommates. So I'm excited about that. Okay, Apple cards. All right. Let's see here. Um, I wish I could figure out why my phone wasn't isn't working. Why? Um, I said share this device. Let's see. Maybe I can go to a different place and try to add it. Let's see if I go here or here or here. And uh, it's not there. So what if I close this and I turn it on again? And it still does not appear and it's not on the ad source and it's not there okay share this device share this camera okay here's the URL and we'll see if that works okay if not I will I will make it work okay Apple cards so exciting Okay, we're gonna have a fun time because you're gonna help me um, design this Apple card. Yeah, it's blank. <laughs> you're gonna help me design it. You're gonna help me uh, make some choices, some color choices, and help me design an Apple card. But first I'm gonna show you the swap cards that I got from Backstage, and then I'll show you the, um, 
apple cards uh, that I made for the uh, council, okay? So they're all in bags. I might take them out if there's too much glare or shine on them. Is that too much glare? No, that looks pretty good. Okay, this is using the True Beauty stamp set. Not pretty. Those are my favorite colors, the, the Highland Heather and the Granny Apple Green. I really like those. Okay, let me go back to comments. Okay. Oh yeah, apples were very popular in the 90s, huh? So maybe they'll make a comeback. So here's, an, here's another apple card. And the apple card dies has this really cool scallop and I'm gonna show you a fun thing that you can do with it. Okay. So that was another apple card. Here we have a Christmas card. Isn't that cool? Oh, glare. So it's using the candy cane dies and then like filling in all of the um, uh, pieces with a different color. So you get that uh, two color candy cane stripe look. Love it. Okay, here's uh, another Christmas card with snowflakes. I love snowflakes. There you go. So cute. Okay, you guys will have to tell me what your favorite one is out of all the swap cards. And here's another lovely one. Like it a lot. I love that paper. They saved it from last time. And then this I think is from probably, uh, okay, this is a UK demonstrator. So it's a little different size, but still very pretty to have that chrome cake and red and green uh, colors. Very nice. Okay. And then uh, we have a snowflake with crumb cake. Cool, huh? I like it. It's like a cascading snowflake going down the card. And then uh, we have a lovely lighthouse. I love it. And the clouds come from the lighthouse. It's a really cool bundle. Here's another snowflake, purple snowflakes. I love it. This is by my friend, Natalie Travis. Okay, and so was the, this was also by Natalie. And then um, this one is a fellow sales and promotion uh, demo council buddy, Allie. She used True Beauty. And then uh, this is from uh, Carrie, and she's also on the sales and demo promotion council. And um, she did the Yeti to party. And she did a whole bunch of samples, so I'm going to be sharing her samples with this. She even did a Valentine card with this uh, stamp set. So pretty cute. Really nice card. Okay, and does this one fold? Okay, it's just... Um, okay, yeah, and so this is another uh, demonstrator that's on the council with me. So pretty. So this is the Fond of Autumn, and she turned it into... Um, just, you know, uh, not a fall card. How about that? Um, cause the Fond of Autumn is kind of a fall set, but, uh, she did it in just pretty, pretty colors. Okay. That's a fun fold. So I'll open that. And then this one, um, is, um, embossed with color. So she put color on her embossing folder to get that embossed colored look really cool. Okay. What was my swap card? My swap card was, it's at the bottom here. You might recognize it. It's one of my cards from last week. It was the foil card because I thought that was really pretty. And I, and I, and I like the idea of, you know, when you open it up, you could put a tea light um, in there so it would light the background and you could see the trees really nicely. So that was my swap card. And then I have a cute, cute little elephant, baby elephant card. Let's see. Here we go, and a little mouse, very cute. And then this is fun, it's a pink card, pink Christmas card, cute. And then um, this card is from uh, Natalie White, um, one of the demonstrator development managers. So she made this little cherry card, nice and sweet. And Let's see, I got two more of their fun folds. So I'm gonna take them out of their pockets. 
their packages so we can see them in action. So this is similar to the fold I did last week, that accordion fold, isn't that gorgeous with the butterflies? So gorgeous what she did with blending brushes. I mean, it's just, it's just a go gorgeous card, it's so pretty. Yeah, so this was by Mary Ellen Stites. Um, so she's also on, we, I did a swap with the demo council, so she's also on the council with me. Very pretty. Um, and then the last one is also, I think by a demonstrator council member, Cindy uh, Westerink. Cindy Westerink. And it is the Cottage Rose. Uh, it's a double gatefold card. So cool, I love it. So I did the double gatefold card um, going this way vertically and she um, did one horizontally and I love how she added you know the little bit of ribbon there very nice very very nice yay so those are all the swap cards that I got I didn't make a whole bunch of swaps I just ran out of time sorry and then um, I have some apple cards to show you um, so the apple dies, so let me show you um, the dies. So this is the stamp set. It's available in the mini catalog. It has, you know, a, two pair of apples here, one apple, and then a, a, uh, there's actually four apples in there. But you could also turn these into oranges. I'm going to show you uh, what I did with the oranges. But the dies, oh my gosh, they have done a great job with the dies. There's this label die. There's this scallop die that cuts out two pieces. I'll show you that. And then um, there are dies to cut out the images of the apples and the flowers. There's a branch and then there's um, two large flowers, two small flowers, three large leaves, and six. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the other one? Six little leaves so that you can run everything through once or twice so you don't have to keep running if you want like seven flowers you don't have to run it through seven times you can run it through like twice um or three times if i get the math correct so um that's what i did with this card i um, cut out all the flowers and i did it just single and this is out of shimmery white paper and then i just added some petal pink and um, mint macaron ink um, to them to get kind of um, this watercolor look on each of them. Yeah. So that's my first apple card. And then here's my orange card. This is, I mean, oranges. So I just colored them orange. And then I have an orange card. So there's many things you can do. And then this one I used um, pastels. So I used uh, the red pastel on Flirty Flamingo. I just put the red in the middle. And then I used the Mossy Meadow uh, pastel on the Granny Apple Green to get that little extra bit of color on there. And then added some of the sequins on there. And then I can, I'm gonna put a sentiment here. I haven't decided what yet, so I haven't put it here yet, but you know, I can grab a, a sentiment and just uh, put that on there. And then that will be done. And then um, I thought I'd try the basket. It's out of proportion, I know, but uh, here's the basket from Full Basket. And I colored uh, the apples with blends. So we have a red, yellow, and green apple here. And then there's this fun stamp that does this kind of cross hatching there. So that's fun to add on the sides. And then um, I have uh, this one. And I use the Gingham Cottage paper here and then added some flowers and this and some rhinestones and the big circle the big scallop circle comes from the give it a world dies and so um, don't forget that you can use that as well for your cards not just as a wheel but also as um, a, just a circle Okay, and then um, this card, I used the Leaf Fall, um, 3D Leaf Fall embossing folder, super pretty. And then I stamped the apples on the gingham uh, cottage paper. 
and as well as the leaves. And then I used the gingham cottage paper for the background and added some of the red um, pearls that are in the mini catalog. So super fun. So those were my samples. Okay, now I'm gonna show you uh, the cards from my class. I did three types of coloring. So it's going to have a watercolor card. So here's the watercolor card. I watercolored the apples um, on the shimmery white paper and then I cut this out of the watercolor paper and did a little watercolor wash background. And then I added these from the Splendid Day Suite because um, they matched really nicely and stamped um, some flowers on the edges there. There we go. So that's the first card um, using watercolor. <clears throat> and then the second card is using uh, blends. So I did the uh, painted uh, texture embossing folder. Can't remember the exact name, painted something. And then I colored the two apples with blends. And then I used um, the scallop. This is the you know number one way to use the scallop, just right there peeking through, okay? And then the other scallop is uh, just a thin piece that I put at the bottom here of this card right there. And again, I cut all the flowers out of white and used the pastels to color the flowers Highland Heather and uh, Soft Seafoam. So I used uh, the Gorgeous Grape and the Granny Apple Green because when you do them in pastels, they turn out lighter. And so I thought they matched the Highland Heather and the Soft Sea Foam. And then I used the Quatrefoil embossing folder uh, back underneath here. Very, very nice, nice texture there. Hopefully you can see that. And so um, these three cards are um, in my Apple class and uh, there will be a bonus card as well. And so if you order the Apple Harvest Bundle starting September 1st, um, I will give you a free card kit. So just email me and let me know uh, which kit you want, probably the Apple kit, Apple cards, and I will uh, prep it for you and send it out. And so this is only good during uh, September. So all of these bundles are only available during September. So that is my Apple Harvest class. And now you're gonna help me make a card. So we are gonna start off with just a basic white piece. And um, I have this crumb cake cut with the uh, stitched rectangle dies. And then I have the scallop cut out of pool party and some paper from the uh, Hostess pack of designer series paper, okay? So I am going to attach these down and uh, get my adhesive here and then I'm gonna trim them off and then I'm gonna have you help me decide what color our apples should be with pool party so we'll put this all the way on here like that so we just have the scallops showing okay mm -hmm. and then um, I'm just going to attach it down to the card so I've got it going across like this, and then I'm gonna trim off this edge here. So I'm just gonna attach that down. And actually, do I wanna trim that? I think I do. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this a little bit too. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. there and then so I have it down now and then I'm gonna trim off this edge right here okay trimmed off one little scallop there I'm just gonna trim that off too okay so now I have my scallop down okay so now I need your help okay so this is crumb cake. It's got the stitched rectangle die that I used. Um, I wanna emboss it. So I have two different embossing folders. I have the gingham embossing folder 
or I have the leaf fall embossing folder. So which folder do you think I should use? Let me know, gingham or leaf, okay? So while you're deciding that, I'm going to get my embossing ready here and uh, gonna get my thing, okay? Um, and then I have another question for you. Okay, so what do we say? Gingham or leaf? Okay, we got one for leaf, okay. Any, any others? Gingham or leaf? Okay, I'm gonna go grab my machine because I have my um, small machine, my mini machine here, but I need the big machine. Oh my goodness, okay, leaf, three votes for leaf. Okay, so we're gonna do the leaf. So I'm gonna grab my machine and grab my um, 3D Special D embossing plate because I'm gonna need that. Um, so I just need the one and the four plate. So here's my machine here and I got my number one plate and then we're gonna do the leaf, okay? Sorry, Tammy, we're gonna do the leaf, okay. So let's see, I'm gonna put it like this so that we've got the leaves all to the one side there. And then we'll put it in, okay? We'll roll it through here. La, 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 la. Okay, Tammy, you said leaf and gingham. Did you change your mind and now it's leaf? Okay. So now I have embossed the leaf embossing folder. So pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna put that on dimensionals and put that on the card. Uh-oh, I did the scallops way too high. So I'm gonna have to move the scallops down because I wanted it to like, yeah. I'm gonna move the scallops down. Okay, let me put this away so I have room. And my next question is um, for the um, apples, so I'm gonna stamp the apples. Which color blends should I use? Should I use real red, okay, or cherry cobbler? Okay, real red or cherry cobbler. I know it's a very slight difference, but uh, which one do you think I should do? Okay, real red or cherry cobbler? Oh, okay, and you have, sorry, another decision. Um, do you want me to stamp just the single apple or the bunch of apples? So single apple or two, one or two, or the bunch of apples, okay? So two apples or a bunch of apple, okay? So let me know which one you want me to stamp and then I'll stamp that. And while you're deciding, I'm gonna um, use my little handy dandy lifter, AKA the persuader, to lift this up and move it down. No. Okay, so apple or bunch of apples, real red or cherry cobbler. Okay, so we've got one for bunch. We've got cherry cobbler, okay. So I moved that down. That's gonna be better down here. And it's gonna um, be on dimensionals. That looks better. So it's not so low, or not so high. Okay, so we have uh, real red, real red, real red. Okay, so we're doing real red. And we have one for bunches of apples and one, two for bunch, oh, three for bunch, four for bunch. Okay, and then we've got one, two, three for cherry cobbler, and one, two, three, four, four, real red. Okay, and then we just got another one for single apple, single apple. 
bunch. Okay, I'm gonna do the bunch of apples with real red, okay? So I'm gonna ink this up with the Memento ink. And if you want, this is you know big enough, you could do it backwards, or you could ink it up like this. I want it to be really inky. And um, you could use the Stamparatus so that you could stamp it several times to make sure you get a really nice image, but I'm gonna just go for it and just press hard. Press hard. Oh, that's a good image. Yeah, that's a good image, huh? I got it. Okay, so now while I'm coloring uh, the real red, I need you to tell me what color the leaves should be, okay? Should they be granny apple green or, I forgot to get my old olive, or old olive. Old olive, where are you? Huh. Old olive, okay? So granny apple green or old olive. Hi, Carol, thanks for joining me. I'm doing a little, um, what do you call it? Your choice stamping. So I'm coloring this bunch real red because the bunch got a little bit more votes than the single apple did. And then I'm gonna, and then the bunch got more votes than the single apple. Did I already say that? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Okay, and so now we're voting on the color of the leaves while I'm coloring the apples. I just love coloring with blends. It is so much fun. And of course, um, this bundle really lends itself. Oh, you can only see like the top of my head. Okay, bunch, bunch, bunch. Okay, so um, let's see. Where... What should we do for the leaves? Granny apple, green, or old olive? I don't see any votes yet. What do you think? Okay. Almost done. I'm trying to do a nice job, but I'm trying to do it quickly. Okay, what do you think? Granny apple, green, or old olive? Let's see. We have granny, one old olive and three granny apples, okay? I've got one apple left, so you have one more apple before I decide. And I love using new blends markers. It makes me so happy. Okie dokie. All right, I'm almost done. And there we go. Okay, so we have Granny Apple. You gotta do Granny Apple when you're coloring apples, right? That just makes sense. Okay, so we'll put the old olive away and we'll put the apple away. And I've got um, Granny Apple Green here. So I've colored the Apple's red, what do you think? And what's nice is there's um, dark shading and so it's really easy because you can just put, you know, your dark blends, you know, on the, on the dark shading. So you just, that's where you put the dark blends and you can go over it again too to give it more contrast. I like contrast. You guys know I like contrast. Okay, maybe some right there. Some right there. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now we're gonna use Granny Apple Green um, for the leaves. And so I need a new Granny Apple Green marker because my marker has been loved too much. Too, too much, okay? We'll see what this card looks like that you guys chose. And then I'll need to get some soft suede because there's some branches. So right now I'm coloring in the green and then I'll um, do this a little bit more quickly. Okay, so last um, choice, um, embellishments, okay? So should I do 
Where did those embellishments go? Okay, they're over here. Oh. Should I do the fine sparkle um, adhesive backed? It's got the pool party right there. So these pool party ones, okay. Or should I do um, these red pearls like I did on this card, okay? So red pearls or pool party sparkle, okay? Let me know what you think. Well, I'm coloring the leaves here. Okay, I think I've got some dark on all of them. Okay, so what do we say? Red pearls. Um, yes, I should have the camera down, and I normally do, but for some reason, my phone is not connecting, and so I apologize. Um, I, I can't do the top-down view right now. So um, we're doing it this way. I'm, I'm making it work. Um, but I normally have the top-down view so you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, I will pull it up after every step to show you. Okay? Okay, so I've colored um, one of the leaves. And I'm gonna do brown. So we've got red pearls. Um, anybody else? Yes. Um, like I said, I wish I could, but I have no clue why my camera's not connecting. Connect. Share this device. Um, I've tried everything I know except for like shutting everything down and restarting everything, and I, I didn't wanna do that. I just wanted to, to go with it. Um, so, red pearls, okie dokie. Ah, I have to get my red pearls. They're in my embellishment thing right here. So, um, I have this little box from the container store and this holds all my embellishments, all my current embellishments and I do it, you know, kind of by size and I put them together. So here are the uh, red pearls. Um, so I will do the red pearls. Okay, so I'm gonna add red pearls. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out first and then um, put this on dimensionals so that we can have that ready. And then I'm gonna have you help me, whoops, decide the sentiment, okay? So we're gonna do either the, um, hope you're feeling better, okay? Or the greatest gift is a good friend. Okay, so the feeling better or good friend. Okay, so which sentiment should I use for that? Okay, we've got this on dimensionals. Okay, so I've got the dimensionals on here. I always do one in each corner and one in the middle so it doesn't sag. And then I'm gonna lay this on here just like that. Okay, so we've got our pool party here and we've got our crumb cake and you guys decided to do the leaf fall okay and then um so we've got one vote for good friend okay and then I'm going to pull out my mini embossing machine I love it and I'm gonna cut this out of it so I've got my um cutting plates here and I'm gonna insert those in. No. Okay, and then I have this that I'm gonna put on top. And I have my die for it from the dies. So it's this die. Oh no, the scallop die. Can't lose that one. That's like my favorite one. Um, this die right here, okay. So good friend. That's, we've got one vote for good friend, okay. It's either hope you feel better, or good friend. What what do you guys want? Okay, leave this on top. Okay. Whoops. Gotta position it better. Ah, it's hard. I have a hard time positioning without the magnetic plate. Okay. There we go. Kind of. Okay, roll this through. Mm, 
Good friend, good friend, good friend. Oh, I like it. We're gonna do good friend. Okay, so I have cut this out. Ta-da! And we're gonna stamp good friend, okay? So put this embossing machine away. So bye-bye, bye-bye, Minnie. And I'll put this back on here. Actually, I'm gonna need that again. What am I doing? Okay, how did I have this? It's like a puzzle. Okay, so I have this back on, and then here's the scallop die, and I'm gonna use this long die to cut out the sentiment, okay? So we're gonna have that there, and then I need a long piece for the sentiment. So I have this long piece right here. And uh, next decision, should I stamp it in basic black? Or, ah, okay, let's look at it so far. Sorry, it's not fully colored. Should I stamp it in basic black? I'm gonna put it like right over here. Um, remember we have the red pearls. Or should I do crumb cake? Basic black or crumb cake? Which one should I stamp it in? Okay, let me get my crumb cake. Crumb cake or black? What do you think? Okay, we're gonna stamp the good friend. So I've got the stamp right here, good friend. Okay, we've got black, one for black. Okay, any other colors? I'm gonna keep coloring this while you guys are deciding if I should stamp it in black or crumb cake. Okay. I really need new granny apple green. Okay, we've got black, black, black. Okay, so I think we're gonna stamp it in black. Okay, so here's the black and here's the stamp. I'm gonna ink it up. So inked up. And I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle here. Okay, the greatest gift is a good friend. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it out with this label die because it perfectly fits that sentiment there. So I'm gonna get this out of the way, get this out of the way, and then I'll need my little mini guy again. Okay, so I've got my mini embossing cutting machine. And then here's the plates, put that on, and then uh, put the, the die on here, and then get the top plate, and then put that in. Ah! Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna push this in, and roll this, cut this through. Okay, black, so you guys said black. Um, so I cut that out with the basic black. Okay, so now we're going to uh, put the card together and add the red embellishments that you chose. Okay, so I'm gonna do mini dimensionals on this. Um, and I'm gonna do one in the middle and one on the end because it'll probably stick out. And then I'm going to add dimensionals to this. I'm gonna color it later, finish coloring it later. So sorry, you won't get the full effect, but I don't want you to have to sit here and wait for me color. So I'm gonna add it right here like that, okay? So you can kind of see what that's gonna look like. And then I'm going to add this uh, right on top here. The greatest gift is a good friend, okay? And now I'm gonna do the red pearls. So here's the red pearls. Um, should I do three or five? Should I do three red pearls or five red pearls? Okay, let me start with, um, I know I'm gonna do one over here, or I could do um, two here, down here, and I could do three over here. So should I do three pearls? 
or five pearls. What do you think? I know, the more pearls, the merrier, huh? I do love pearls. Okay, so I'm gonna put one over here, and let's see what you guys say. Three or five pearls. I'm just gonna color a little bit more while you guys let me know if I should do three or if I should do five pearls. The more pearls, the merrier, right? Okay, so let's see. Three. Pretty die for the sentiment. Yeah, it is a pretty die. Okay, so I've got three. Anybody else? Okay. My granny apple green is running out. Oh, everybody said three. Okay, so I'm going to do three. I'm going to put my last one on here. I'm just gonna try and color these in a bit so you guys can have the final effect here, hopefully. But my marker is running out. Okay, so one more pearl over here. And there's the card you guys designed. So pretty. So if you guys uh, place your apple harvest order, you're gonna get supplies for the card you designed. Okay, that's this is the bonus card. So um, here are the cards again um, for the apple harvest. We have the flowers and then we have the watercolor card. Okay, maybe I'll hold it up there. And then we have the blends for the apples card. And then this is your bonus card. Yay! Thank you guys for helping me design that. That is so fun. Do you guys like that? Should I do that more often where you guys help me design the card? I think that's kind of fun. I remember we did that um, for one of the activities or something for some demonstrator thing and it was really fun. We got to a vote in a poll like what colors we wanted or what embossing folder we wanted or, or whatever. Okay, so I'm just finishing up coloring the last couple of leaves. Okay, so there's the leaves and then I will do the branches. And that's the card you guys designed. Yay, thank you guys. All right, that was awesome, I love it. So, like I said, next week I will be out of town so there'll be no live, but um, I will be back the following week um, showing you the Fresh Cut Flowers bundle and the Trimming the Tree bundle and the This Little Piggy bundle with dyes that has a wagon. So cute. This is super cute. And I have the cute, I paired up with another demonstrator to bring you this class. Um, and the cards that she has designed are super cute. There's a gift card holder and they're fun folds and you're gonna love the cards. They're just amazing. So then um, either I'm gonna do fresh cut flowers or trimming the tree and then she'll do the other one. Which one should I do? Should I do fresh cut flowers class or should I design the trimming the tree class? Which one do you want me to design? And then I'll ask her to design the other one. <laughs> So that's your last decision of today. Now I wish it was, it's not. Okay, so let me know what you want. Fresh cut flowers or trimming the tree. And I'm just gonna finish coloring the branches. I'm gonna do crumb cake. I should have given you guys a choice on that too, but I'm just gonna do crumb cake because it goes with the crumb cake. La 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 la. Okay, what do you say? Tree, okay? Trim the tree, okay. So we got two for the tree, okay. What else? Uh, trimming the tree. Yes, sorry about the glare. Next week I will have figured this out because usually you see my desk. 
and um, I honestly, sorry, I don't know what happened, but normally you see my hands. Thank you, Melanie. Okay, so there we go, all colored in. That's the bonus card that you guys designed. Okay, I will design the tree set then, okay? So um, in two weeks, I'm gonna be showing you all the classes and all the cards for all of this perfect partners, this perfect partner promotion. How about that for alliteration? Um, so here's the flyer, I will be posting it. I will post the perfect partners promotion and <laughs> I was paired up with Ray Wynn from New Zealand. And so I will be showing you for the apple harvest all the cards that I made and all the cards that she made as well because she designed some beautiful cards too. So super fun, you guys. Thanks for joining me and thanks for participating. And uh, don't forget... Um, all the specials that I mentioned, if you caught me in the middle of the live, go back and watch from the beginning so you can see all the specials that are coming up. We've got the Perfect Par Partners promotion starting September 1st, and we have weekly deals. So every week there will be new deals um, and specials to look at. So I will be putting posting all of that on my Facebook page. So there's going to be a ton of posts on my Facebook page this month. And... Um, so lots of promotions this month. Um, anyway, if you have any questions or suggestions or if I can do anything for you, please contact me and let me know. Um, otherwise, have a great week. Um, this last couple days of August and these first days of September. Crazy that it's almost September. Thank you, Melanie. And... Um, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in two weeks, but next week I will be posting videos of my Fond of Autumn class and I have one card that I've already designed. It's um, really pretty and simple um, and I'll be showing you some tricks with this bundle as well. So super, super cute. All right. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Becky. I'll see you guys in two weeks, but I will be posting videos, so um, you'll see me on video. So, um, here's the card again that we made, and I'll see you guys next week.